Hi, my name is Jason Matos, and I'm a cardiologist at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston, Massachusetts. We have noticed a variation in practice patterns regarding anticoagulation and antiarrhythmic drug use for new atrial fibrillation after isolated cabbage. We analyzed over 166,000 consecutive patients from the STS database from 2011 to 2018 who developed new atrial fibrillation after isolated cabbage. Surprisingly, we found that 57% of these patients were discharged on amiodarone without anticoagulation, despite a mean CHADS2 VAS score in the cohort greater than three. Overall 30-day readmission rates were low, but there was a four-fold increase in bleeding readmissions among those patients who were discharged on anticoagulation versus those who were not. Surprisingly, we found absolutely no difference in 30-day stroke readmissions based on anticoagulation status. We believe that in the first 30 days after isolated cabbage, bleeding may outweigh stroke risk, and this should be considered when determining anticoagulation in this time period and despite a high CHADS2VAS score. Further prospective research is certainly warranted.